Archaeologists are some of the hardest people in the world to scare. They spend their careers digging up dead bodies and looking at the ruins of past civilizations, so it's safe to say that they've built up an immunity to creepy discoveries. But sometimes they find things that are so disturbing that it keeps them up at night. Let's dive into the discoveries in Egypt that have scared archaeologists. Tuna el Gebel Tuna el Gebel is a massive cemetery that dates back to at least 4,000 years ago. When it was first discovered, archaeologists had no idea what they were about to uncover. Hidden underneath the Egyptian sands, they found a vast graveyard that left them speechless. One of the creepiest discoveries was the tomb of an ancient priest named Petasiris. Petasiris was the high priest of the Egyptian god Thoth, a man with the head of a monkey. Thoth was one of the scariest and most powerful gods that the ancient Egyptians worshipped. This disturbing man-monkey hybrid was in charge of judging the dead, and he was feared throughout Egypt. But the tomb of Petasiris was only the beginning. Archaeologists found a catacomb next to his tomb that was full of mummified animals. To honor Petasiris, the other followers of Thoth sacrificed falcons, ibises, and baboons and buried them at the same time. Animal sacrifices were common in ancient Egypt, but archaeologists were still horrified when they stumbled upon this mass animal burial ground. In 2019, researchers unearthed another disturbing piece of history at Tuna el Gabel. While excavating the site, they came across a secret tomb that housed dozens of mummies, including the mummified corpses of several children. Adult mummies are scary enough, but the archaeologists were not expecting to find mummified children as well. But Tuna el Gabel isn't the only disturbing mass grave found in Egypt. The next discovery gave archaeologists nightmares when they found it. Sealed Coffins Archaeologists working near the city of Luxor, Egypt have unearthed a terrifying tomb that no one knew existed. And inside, they found over 20 sealed coffins that haven't been touched since they were buried thousands of years ago. Finding even one coffin in good condition is incredibly rare, so this discovery has been called one of the largest and most important discoveries to have been announced in the past few years. Not much is known about who might be mummified inside these coffins, and some archaeologists are afraid to find out. There are legends about ancient curses being placed on Egyptian burial sites, and some people believe that they might actually be real. One inscription on the inside of a tomb says, Cursed be those who disturb the rest of a pharaoh. And while this might sound crazy, an archaeologist named Howard Carter died from blood poisoning just a few weeks after he opened the tomb of King Tut in 1923. Ancient curses aren't the only scary thing about these coffins. You never know what might have been sealed inside or what could happen when it's opened back up. In 2018, a massive sarcophagus was opened by archaeologists and what they found inside made them abandon the dig site. Inside the giant coffin were the remains of three people and a strange red and brown liquid that smelled so bad that no one could approach it. Luckily, no one died during this excavation, but it definitely scared the people working on it. While the idea of an ancient mummy curse is definitely scary, it's nothing compared to the next terrifying discovery that archaeologists made. Death Traps Although many Egyptian tombs were protected by ancient curses, others used deadly and brutal traps to keep intruders at bay. And if the archaeologists exploring these tombs aren't careful, they could easily be killed by one of these horrifying security measures. In ancient Egypt, royalty and wealthy people were buried with all kinds of treasure. Everything from piles of gold coins to books for them to read in the afterlife. If you were rich, your tomb would be full of expensive goods. Because of this, grave robbing and tomb raiding were a huge issue for the families of the deceased. Everyone knew that these tombs were full of treasure and they tried whatever they could to get their hands on it. And for the families, it wasn't just about protecting a bunch of buried money. The ancient Egyptians believed that whatever you were buried with is what you brought with you to the afterlife. If someone robbed your grave after you died, you would have nothing left to use in the afterlife. Living in luxury after you died was the highest goal the Egyptians could achieve, so protecting their tombs was incredibly important. Because their tombs were so sacred, the ancient Egyptians made incredibly harsh laws to punish thievery. Some cultures used brutal methods like cutting off the hand of a thief, but the Egyptians were even more severe. If you were caught trying to rob a grave in ancient Egypt, you would likely end up being tortured and burned alive. And even if you weren't caught in the act, there's a chance that the tomb you were robbing would kill you itself. One of the most popular and terrifying means of security was a hematite powder. 
This metallic dust was placed on the floor of tombs and would kill anyone who entered. It was designed to slice up the insides of anyone who inhaled it, and their deaths were slow and excruciating. A team of archaeologists were nearly killed by hematite powder in 2001. They were exploring a tomb that had 8 inches of the deadly powder on the floor. Luckily, they realized the danger they were in and managed to escape with their lives. Later, they returned with hazmat suits and other safety gear to finish the excavation, but this adventure nearly killed them all. Another horrifying trap built by the ancient Egyptians is located inside the Great Pyramid. The builders of the pyramid created a complicated trap using giant slabs of granite. A series of grooves were built into the walls of the room where the king's body was going to be placed. The idea was that the granite slabs would then drop down and seal all of the entrances, trapping whoever was unfortunate enough to be in there. However, this trap obviously didn't work as intended. By the time the modern explorers found the tomb, it had already been robbed long before. Deadly traps are definitely worth being afraid of, but the next discovery will probably keep you up at night. The Lost City of Aten In 2020, archaeologists made one of the most amazing discoveries in Egyptian history. The lost golden city that many believed to be a myth was finally unearthed. The city of Aten is now the biggest ancient city ever discovered in Egypt but archaeologists weren't prepared for some of the things they found inside. While excavating the city, researchers found something truly disturbing, the skeleton of what might have been the victim of a human sacrifice. When they found the body, its arms were outstretched and there was a rope tied around the knees. They still aren't sure why or how this person died, but many believe that it was either a murder or a ritualistic sacrifice. Some people have even theorized that this skeleton might have been the victim of an ancient serial killer but for right now, there are just rumors and ideas. Finding dead bodies is normal for archaeologists, but this creepy discovery left many of them afraid of what they might find next. Another unnerving artifact that they found was a jar full of 3,500-year-old meat. The jar even had writing on it that describes where the meat came from. It reads, Year 37, dressed meat for the third Hebsed festival for the slaughterhouse of the stockyard of Ka made by the butcher Louis. Experts believe that the meat was either boiled or dried out like jerky, but they have no idea what animal it came from. Although they're pretty confident that it's not human meat, the ancient Egyptians did practice a lot of cannibalism, and when they did, they wouldn't have gotten the human meat from a butcher. Aten is one of the largest ancient cities in Egypt, and the work to excavate it is only beginning. It will take decades for archaeologists to dig up the entire town, and who knows what they'll find when they do. They've only been working on the site for a year at this point, and they've already uncovered several disturbing artifacts. One thing is for sure, the archaeologists working there are going to be sleeping with a nightlight on. Okay guys, that's all for this video on discoveries in Egypt that have scared archaeologists. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos coming out. Thanks so much for watching.